You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Okay, guys and gals, a couple weeks ago I did a video. Well, maybe not even a couple weeks ago. Maybe a week ago I did a video over on our Newsbreak channel where it talked about the fact that the NFL television ratings have been huge, and it talked about the fact that the Dallas Cowboys were not dominating the television ratings in the NFL this year. In fact, of the top five games that had been recorded for the year, Dallas had come in number five. The Jets and the Chiefs were involved in the other biggest games of the season. In fact, I've got a graphic here I can show you that I used to make that very video that was released from the NFL. And there you can see it right there. The biggest games of the year was the opening game of the Chiefs and the Lions. Then the Chiefs and Jets. I think Taylor Swift was involved in a couple of these games. Niners, Bengals, and then down here, the Jets and the Cowboys, which drew a 25.9 million viewership rating. All right. It drew that many viewers. That's a hell of a lot of viewers. And uh, sort of, there were some victory laps being taken by the Jets, by the Chiefs, sort of a dethroning of the Cowboys, even though they were fifth. Well, that celebration, that brave, stunning, and courageous celebration by the Chiefs and the Jets. Just got shot right in the ass, for lack of a better way of putting it, because the Cowboys, America's team, has just shot back up. Shot back up and now have the number one highest rated game of the season. And you guessed it. It was the Eagles and the Cowboys. We will also get to Al Michaels talking about his retirement in his future with Amazon Thursday Night Football. Uh, let's put it this way. Al Michaels is not leaving before he wants to leave, and I, I'm i a big Al Michaels fan, but we'll get to that in just a second. With the Cowboys losing a nail-biter to the NFL-leading Philadelphia rivals, this is Sports Media Watch, Fox scored the largest Nielsen-measured audience of the season in week nine. Sunday's NFL national window on Fox averaged a 13.3 rating and 27.14 million viewers for Fox, marking the highest rated most watched telecast of the NFL season per Nielsen. I will tell you this, it's been a long time since I've turned it off red zone. And I turned it off red zone for about the last quarter and a half of this game just to get in on everything that was happening in this game. The previous high was $26.09 million for coverage featuring the Eagles and the Jets on Fox in Week 6. Was that listed there? Uh, there it is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, including Adobe Analytics, which tracks NBC streaming viewership. The top audience of the season remains 27.5 million of the Lions Chiefs kickoffs. But we're talking about strictly television viewers here, all right? So it's really 26.9 million viewers on television versus 27.14 million on television, okay? In addition to the season-high viewership, was the highest for any Week 9 NFL telecast in nine years. And listen to the last high. It was 29.09 million. Oh, the the good old days. For coverage featuring Tom Brady's Patriots versus Peyton Manning's Broncos. Man, I, I feel like we're so far removed from that, it's not even funny with the... Who is it? Tommy DeVito's of the world playing quarterback now. Ratings have increased 26% and viewership 34% from the Rams Buccaneers on CBS last year. That would be week nine. 20.25 million. Tom Brady played in that game, by the way. After trailing last year for much of the season, Fox is now averaging 17.5 million 
viewers for the NFL season up 1% from the first nine weeks. Last year, the network's late doubleheader window is averaging 23.46 million, also up 1%. No other NFL telecast cracked 20 million viewers for week nine. Bills Bengals was a distant second with a 10.0 and 18.36 million on Sunday night football. So, and look, they expected a big-ass rating for that game, but I think the Bills, feeling like they have dropped back a little bit in the pack of the AFC right now, and they feel like they've gotten a little weaker while the Bengals have kind of been on the rise, I think that little drop-off from the Bills hurt the viewership in Sunday night football. But still, I mean, 18.36 million is ridiculous. I mean, it's a ridiculous rating. Uh, So, I mean, NFL remains uh, king anyway. We can go back to this graphic that I referred to earlier. The top 44 NFL games are ranked as the top 44 shows on television since the start of the 2023 season. So the top 44 most viewed shows of the year among everything is NFL. So, and that's pretty common year in and year out. Let's go over to Al Michaels revealing whether or not he will retire. Look, there is a a group of fans out there that want to see Al Michaels retire. Uh, I am not one of them. I mean, I grew up with Al Michaels. Do you believe in miracles? I'm that old. I can remember that. Um, he, in my opinion, he's legendary. Him and John Madden, the good old days. Him and Chris Collinsworth had great chemistry on Sunday night football. Um, I feel like this Thursday night football gig, frankly, it feels like it's beneath him. And frankly, Sunday night football doesn't feel as big without Al Michaels involved. And I, I like Mike Tirico. Um, but Al Michaels is legend. I understand there's younger viewers. They hate his guts. They want Al Michaels to, to get run out of town. They get mad about the supposedly the lack of enthusiasm from Al Michaels. I don't get it. Nah, he's not going to get up there and act a fool. That's not really Al Michaels game. It's just not. Um, and I have to admire the guy has never eaten a green vegetable in his entire life. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Al Michaels has faced some recent criticism from fans who feel he no longer has the same level of enthusiasm for his job. Look, let's be real. He's had to, he had to broadcast some awful games last year. I mean, they are dumpster fire games. But the legendary broadcaster insists he's not planning to walk away from his current gig early. Michaels is in his second season of a three-year contract he signed to call Thursday night football games on Amazon. Some have wondered if he could walk away after the 2023 season. Uh Uh-uh, not so fast. Largely because there have been moments over the past year or two he seemed less than passionate about his job. Didn't he have a Commanders-Colts game last year where the final score was like 9-3 or something like that, 6-3? I mean, shit, who wouldn't want to put their own head in a blender trying to call that game? I mean, really and truly, come on. Uh, Andrew Marshan of the New York Post spoke with Michaels about that this week, and the 78-year-old cleared up any questions that might exist about his retirement. Quote, as far as I'm concerned, I'm doing next year, Michael said. There's no question about that in my mind. While he plans to return in 2024, Michaels does not want to say whether that will be his final season. He told Marshan he has no interest in a year-long celebration of his Hall of Fame career. Quote, No, I mean, Keith Jackson had one of those things and came back and did another seven years. Keith Jackson was so good, folks. No, 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 no. Look, when I'm done, it's the way John Madden was done. Two words and a contraction. It's time I don't need any parade or any of that nonsense. A lot of viewers felt some of Michael's calls lacked energy in his first season with Amazon that might have something to do with horrible games that had been shown on the streaming network. Though Michael's did seem uncharacteristically flat during a Jaguars miraculous 
playoff comeback against the Chargers on NBC last year as well. Michaels has also made some embarrassing on-air blunders this season. Still, he remains arguably the greatest NFL play-by-play announcer of all time. Amazon could do much worse. Look, Amazon sorely needs somebody like Al Michaels to add some credibility to that broadcast. Uh, I don't hate Kurt Herbstreet on there. I know a lot of people do. I think he's okay. I mean, he's really, really good on college football. Um, I think they could do better, and if somehow, and I know this is going to drive people crazy, but if somehow Amazon could put Chris Collinsworth in there with Al Michaels for like one year as like a, hey, we're going to send it off that way without, you know, get the band back together kind of thing, I'd be, I'd be good with that, you know? Collinsworth and some of the cringeworthy shit he says, I love it. it just, I'm like, wow, you're so terrible that you're truly entertaining somehow. And, you know, that's great. Um, Al Michaels, they are not running him off. That makes me happy, especially because I know he's grinding screws into the neck of some of the young people that are driven crazy by crusty old Al Michaels. And good, good. I mean, for a guy that's almost 50, good. There we go, Al Michaels not being forced out, and not retiring. Sorry, not sorry. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.